when you're in flow, so you're doing what you love and just time passes by, what are you doing? I've been rowing for the last um, 12 years on the Saône River uh, in Lyon. The state of flow for me is when I row on a coxed four or coxed eight, and it's the morning, and the water is very quiet, you know, it's like, like a mirror, and all four of us, or eight of us, we have reached the perfect uh, catch, you know, when the, the oars catch the water in the perfect way. And we have been able to link several perfect strokes together. The movement is perfect on an individual basis, and it's also completely synchronized. And I love this feeling. If work could be like that, it would be fantastic as well. It is sometimes. You've got the coxswain that gives the direction and that supports you, but he or she is not giving orders to the other. So you are free. You're an individual being, and you have to sense the, the, the water, the environment, and you also have to sense the other people movements. It's a mix of individual and collective concentration to reach a, a collective result, you know, a beautiful collective result. I love that. Who are you inspired by? My grandmother is, um, was a person that inspired me a lot. She was born in northern France in a very, very poor family of 21 children. My grandmother gave me this instinct that you can always aim higher. If you could do any job in the world, what would you do? I would like to be the head of engagement for a company that has understood the necessity to reinvent itself in the 21st century. Companies can no longer work like they used to do in the, the Fordist era, you know, like in a vertical mode, siloed and, and top-down and command and control based. It's impossible. This era is gone. My ambition, what I would love to do, is to take care of this transformation. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? Sheryl Sandberg said, girls, you have to go invest the social media. On social media, one voice equals another voice. So it's your chance, ladies. If you want to be equal to men in the workplace, you have to develop your network, you have to be heard, and social media is where you have to go. If you were watching this video of mm. other people, what do you think would be a good question to ask someone? What do you do? So I'm really action-focused. <laughs> what do you do to, one, make yourself a better person, and two, make the world a better place? How have I tried to do that myself? <laughs> By working on gender balance in the workplace. When or where are you most creative? Late evening. Um, my kids are asleep, the house is quiet, I put some light music on, I'm on my couch, I have a big cup of tea or a nice glass of wine, um, some chocolate, <laughs> and I have my iPad, my computer, I multitask, and I'm also most creative when I'm being given a problem to solve. If you were to write a book, what would it be about? I would love to write about the story of change agents worldwide, to invent a new way of working, to design a business model that is innovative, an uncompany of equals, to show how it is, how it is possible to evolve in very concrete terms. Which two people would you recommend that we hear from? Susan Skrupski. So that would be the first person I would shine a light on. And the second would be Marion Chapsal. What would you like to learn? I would love to learn new languages. Uh, I think every time you learn a new language, you open a door to a new world.